Hello, today we are going to talk about renewable energy. Uh, and the lesson number one will be just about the energy in common. So what is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. There are two forms of energy. Potential energy, energy which is stored inside of an object, and kinetic energy, so-called energy of movement. Uh, a clear example is movement of waves, electrons, atoms, molecules, substances, other objects. Potential energy has the following types. Uh, chemical energy is energy stored in bonds of atoms and molecules. Uh, an example, batteries, biomass, petroleum, uh, and natural gas. Mechanical energy is uh, energy stored in objects by tension. For example, compressed springs, or stretched rubber bands. Nuclear energy is energy stored, stored in the nucleus of an atom, the energy that holds the nucleus together. For example, uh, we use that in the nuclear power plants. And the last one is gravitational energy, which is uh, energy stored in an object's height. An example of usage, hydropower plants. Kinetic energy can be radiant energy, which is uh, electromagnetic energy that travels in transverse waves, for example, gamma and radio waves, light or X rays. Thermal energy or heat which uh, is the energy that comes from the movement of atoms and molecules in a substance, for example, the thermal energy of the Earth. Motion energy. Motion energy is stored in the movement of objects. The faster they move, the more energy is stored. An example is wind. Sound. Uh, sound is movement of energy through substances in compression, rarefaction waves. Sound is produced when uh, a force causes an object or substance to vibrate. That is the weakest kind of energy. And the last one is electrical energy, which is delivered by electrons, a tiny particles with charge. Typically, typically moving through a wire. In nature, a clear example is lightning. There are two basic types of energy sources. They can be either non-renewable or renewable. When we say non-renewable energy sources, we speak about energy sources which cannot form or replenish in a short period of time. For example, all the fossil fuels, crude oil, natural gas, coal, and also uranium. Unfortunately, at present, the main energy source uh, used by humans is non-renewable fossil fuels. Renewable energy, in turn, is energy from sources that are naturally replenishing, but nevertheless flow limited. We will talk about kinds of energy sources a bit later. Energy can be sustainable or non-sustainable. What do we mean by saying a sustainable energy source? Such source have to uh, fit in the following description. 
The long-term availability of such source must guarantee that it will be present uh, in future and uh, be available for, for consumption needs. Such energy source must be replenishable without human intervention. And also, the amount of energy consumed to exploit the available resources should not exceed the amount of energy these resources produce. The question is, is renewable energy sustainable? Yes and no. Most of renewable sources, such as uh, solar energy, wind energy, just thermal energy and tidal energy are definitely sustainable. But, for example, such uh, projects, renewable projects as damming of rivers to generate hydroelectricity or the cleaning of forests, uh, forests for production of uh, biofuels are not considered sustainable. There are the following kinds of renewable energy sources. Biomass, hydropower, geothermal, wind, and solar. Biomass uh, is, is the term for energy from plants. That kind of uh, that, that energy source is widely used uh, for cooking and warmth and uh, it, it's based on burning the source. Unfortunately, this releases a lot of CO2, a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, uh, which pollutes the air and uh, is a major contributor to unhealthy air in many areas and regions. Uh, there are other kinds of modern forms of biomass energy. Uh, for example, those uh, are used for methane generation and production of alcohol, which can be used for cars as, as fuel. The next energy source is hydropower. Hydropower is derived from the energy of falling water or fast running water, which may be harnessed uh, for useful purposes. It was uh, discovered, it was used uh, in the 19th century when it became a source uh, for generating electricity. And uh, since early 20th century, it's considered uh, the, uh, almost exclusively in conjunction with the modern development of hydroelectric power. Hydroelectric power uh, significantly contributes to economic development and it's rel rel relatively clean. Uh, it doesn't add a considerable amount of CO2 to the atmosphere, but dams uh, can, can have significant negative social and environmental impacts. Geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is uh, thermal energy generated and stored in the Earth. Uh, thermal energy is the energy that determines the temperature of substance. Uh, this, such energy uh, of the Earth's crust originates from the original formation of the planet and from, from radioactive decay of materials. Geothermal is very cost-effective uh, and reliable, sustainable, and totally environmentally friendly, uh, but it has a disadvantage. Uh, it's limited to areas near tectonic plate boundaries only. The next energy source is wind. Wind power is the use of airflow uh, through some mechanisms to provide the mechanical power uh, to turn electric generators. 
Uh, wind power is a great alternative uh, to burning fossil fuels because uh, it's plentiful, renewable, it's widely distributed, clean, and it produces no CO2, consumes no water, and installation of uh, hardware for its uh, generation, for its uh, turning into electricity, uses just a little bit of land. Uh, and in long scales, uh, time scales, it's a great power source, but unfortunately it's not very consistent uh, over shorter time scales. And usually wind power uh, is used in conjunction with other electric power sources, such uh, as, for example, batteries. Solar energy. Solar energy is uh, radiant light and heat from the sun. Uh, there are two main technologies, uh, active solar technologies and passive solar technologies. Active solar technologies include the use of uh, photovoltaic systems, concentrated solar power and solar water heating to harness the energy. And uh, passive solar techniques include uh, arranging a building to the sun, selecting materials with variable thermal mass or light dispersion properties, and designing spaces that naturally circulate air. A couple of words about renewable energy in Iceland. Iceland is the only country in the world, world which obtains 100% of its electricity and heat from renewable sources. Uh, it's approximately 87% uh, of its electricity which comes from hydro power sources and 13% comes from the, the geothermal power. Uh, Oil-powered fossil fuel power stations uh, are used only as backups, as they are usually of. So almost 100% of Iceland's space heating and water heating is obtained from geothermal sources. Hydroelectricity in Iceland plays a very important role as it produces more than 87% of electricity. There are nine largest hydroelectric power stations. They are listed on the slide. Uh, all power stations are run by the same company, the National Power Company of Iceland. And uh, hydroelectric power stations are very important for Iceland as an industrialized country. Geothermal power in Iceland is used for heating uh, of more than 90% of all buildings in Iceland. There are six largest geothermal power plants. You can see the distribution of the largest ones in this slide. Red dots are just thermal power plants, and uh, the blue dots are hydroelectric power plants. Most of uh, hydroelectricity is produced at the east coast of Iceland, while the biggest just thermal power plant is located close to Reykjavik. Iceland presently is a leader in renewable energy. Uh, just to repeat that 85% of its primary energy, uh, primary en energy needs, 
being met with uh, have been met with renewable resources. Almost all electricity in Iceland is produced using renewable energy sources with 87% uh, of electricity provided by hydropower plants and 13% uh, from hydrothermal energy, accounting for over 99% of total electricity consumption in Iceland. And Icelanders are pioneers in the use of geothermal energy for space heating. With 90% of Icelandic households heated with geothermal water. An interesting fact then uh, is that in Akureyri, where I am right now, uh, the public buses in the town are run by the same gas produced from the local garbage bin. And also, the buses are totally free of charge. Iceland is a, a pioneer and is a very good example that renewable sources can be uh, widely used and can replace non-renewable energy sources in the long run. This is it for today. Thank you very much. Uh, we are going to continue uh, this uh, lecture cycle. Uh, we are going to have more lectures about uh, specific energy sources, renewable energy sources, such uh, hydro thermal energy and uh, hydro uh, energy and wind energy in the future, so stay, stay tuned, and we hope to see you soon again. Bye-bye.